well, I, I can start talking about the network, but I would like to make certain statements uh, before I go on to that. Uh, on the first day of this conference, we heard Mr. Ramakrishnan talking about fourth dimension of good, which was about the spiritual, aesthetic, and cultural aspects of good. I hope you remember that. And in line with the same spirit, or in line with that, the proposition made, I would like to add yet another dimension to the wood. And this dimension is about the relationship, cooperation, and sharing. And what is that dimension, the fifth dimension of wood? That is networking. Well, as you know, sharing gives us joy and happiness. And uh, thereby, that dimension of networking fits in with the theme of this workshop, which is art and joy. <coughs> now, networking is also about optimization of resources. Mathematically, if A and B do two things and share the results, that would be more optimal than A and B doing the same thing and competing. So that's the spirit of sharing and pooling the resources. And finally, a network also acts as a virtual institution. So you are aware of virtual memory in the computer science. And a network, what it does is linking a a series of real-life institutions. So we have the IFGTB, or we have C4, KFRA, and all that, and many institutions working on TIC. And we are pooling the resources, exchanging information, building up, so that uh, nobody, is, uh, nobody ends up uh, reinventing the wheel. And uh, that's what the networking is about. Now, with that introduction, um, I would say that TIGNET is such a network. Okay. Well, I'll quickly go through this thing. And before I go on to the networking part, I shall speak a few words about TIG. For those who are not familiar with that, I think most of you might be familiar. But TIG is a versatile timber known for its quality, durability, and strength. It is used largely in the <coughs> furniture industry, construction of buildings, sheep, boat making, and many holes. Teak is an undisputed leader of high quality tropical timbers. It's always referred to as standard timber for comparative evaluation of quality and utilization potential of other tropical hardwoods. Teak is grown plantations in more than 36 tropical countries across the globe, although its natural occurrence is limited to India, Laos, Myanmar, and Thailand. Uh, now, TIGNET is an organization that was dedicated for promoting TIG, uh, established in 1995 by, uh, to promote cultivation and trade of TIG. And what is it? It's an international network of institutions and individuals interested in TIG. Its members are mostly growers, traders, and researchers, apart from policy makers and others who have a stake in TIG. It's governed by an international steering committee consisting of representatives of FAO, ITTO, DANIDA, and other organizations around the world. TIGNET established in Myanmar, but its headquarters were shifted to India in 2008 due to the problems of military occupation or rule there. And presently, KFRI, Kerala Forest Research Institute in Chuchur, hosts the TIGNET Secretariat by providing logistic and infrastructure support. And what does it do? Primary function is uh, it, it addresses issues related to the global teak sector. And stakeholders are growers, traders, industrialists, researchers, and policy makers involved or related to this species. And small of operations are mostly information exchange and organizing workshops. 
and meetings of stakeholders and solutions are sought through discussions. And its activities are most predominantly information sharing. That's the most fundamental activity. It provides information on TEEK through its website, www.teeknet.org. And the website contains a plethora of information on the direct user growers, traders, researchers, information on events related to TEEK and on an international level, and information on publications and developments in technology. And these are some of the snapshots taken from the, our website. You get researchers directly, uh, global, international, and traders, researchers involved in TEEK. And uh, almost all the events related to TEEK internationally are uh, displayed in our website. And publications and uh, other uh, information sources and uh, these sort of things. This is one thing I want to uh, put your attention to. There, there, is, there are three buttons here, Market Watch, Growers Tips, and Researchers Corner. And you will have, uh, we have the market intelligence system implemented under the Market Watch, and all kinds of information required for cultivation, uh, cultivators of tree under Growers Tips, and the latest research findings under Researchers Corner. Yeah, that, those are the details. We also have a newsletter called TeakNet Bulletin. And uh, we also run a Teak, global Teak information center, the Teak bibliography, and other monographs on Teak, and additional activities is conducts region, regional, international conferences on themes related to Teak. And the last international work, workshop we held was in November 2009 at KFRA, and proceedings available in our website, and also arranges training programs on cultivation and management of teak. And last month, we just finished an international training program on innovations in the management of planted teak forests. Undertake studies related to teak at international level, and we are on our efforts to develop an international database on TEEK and what future? Well, our objective is to bring about transformations on the global TEEK sector and what kind of transformations and under what context, okay? So the context as regards TEEK internationally is that the shift of ownership to private sector and uh, smallholders becoming major producer of TEEK too. We should expect a continued spurt in demand and consequent price increases. Competition from alternative products <coughs> may also increase and demand for certified timber and the issue of certification of teak plantations, climate change and issues and trends towards conservation efforts. And the gaps in the current scenario are poor productivity in many places and poor market. And what the future holds for TeakNet and transformations on the global teak sector we would like to continue our secretarial activities and the impact that's going to make is the information exchange, of course, database on TEEK resources for outlook studies, market intelligence on TEEK prices and availability of timber, that is for efficient marketing, training programs on cultivation and management of TEEK, that's capacity building, meeting of, meetings of traders, growers and researchers, better plans and policies, research support on specific themes, that will be productivity, leading to productivity enhancement and international consultancy assignments, problem solving. And funding sources are membership fee. You can get those details from the website and donor contributions like from Danida, FAO, membership application forms. And these are some of the services offered. You can visit our TechNet stall here, exhibition in the exhibition area or our website for such things. and. Uh, the ultimate goal for this network would be to transform the global teak sector from its current suboptimal state to that of a dynamic entity for the benefit of all stakeholders. And the sector development indicators we keep as higher productivity, higher production, better marketing, resulting in better flow of timber across the region, and affordable prices for the products, better quality products. And short term target, if this happens during the next five years, with our act effort, 
and continues so further, the purpose of TechNet will be served. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.